I think that our human senses have evolved over many, many years and that information and communication technology still has to learn to address those senses in appropriate ways. We are doing a good job in addressing audio and vision, but we fall behind in, for example, addressing feelings such as smell and taste, and I think there is a lot of interesting research work going on there. Computer technology can help us overcome the limitations of our senses, for example, meeting the needs of people with special needs, but also making invisible things visible, like seeing what is currently going on in my back. I could have a camera and could see what's there. So I think that information technology will definitely change the way how we sense and feel the environment. I don't think we're going to develop fundamentally new senses, but I think definitely will we develop new ways of interacting with the world. And I think the way we're going to do that is by starting to use a richer material vocabulary when we develop technology and to use technology when we do all sorts of designs. So we to a large extent we'll see embedded technologies in our physical environment, not as screens and interaction devices, but as, as the materials themselves being able to interact with us. Definitely, we're doing it uh, every day. There are new and new technologies that allow us to interact with other people in different ways, with other devices. So I think this is something that has uh, been on the way in the last uh, decades, starting from simple uh, human computer interfaces such as the keyboard or mouse, or to now the more transparent or invisible ways to interact, such as a, a device as successful as Kinect. So there is definitely yes. Yes, very simply. We we know that there's already sort of synesthesia. The crossing over of senses, and I'm absolutely sure that as we have new sensor technologies delivering new sensory input into the brain, uh, that we are going to be able to sense completely different things. Obviously, things like radiation or uh, carbon monoxide or whatever it could be. Things that at the moment we can't sense, uh, I'm sure we're going to have implants which will allow us to be able to sense them. And we'll also have, I think, that opportunity to cross senses over. So to play around with synthetic inputs, hearing sounds and smells and seeing tastes. I think, in a way, we already have a new sense. And that is what the Internet being connected to real-time information sources, ranging from people's tweets to infrastructure, to mobile phones then transmit people's location and data. This is a fundamental new sense that allows people a new way to perceive the world. And while it used to be something that was statically available at home with mobile electronic, it truly is a sense that is with people always and everywhere. I think so. I hope so. I think that uh, computers will uh, help uh, humans to be able to globally perceive their world around. So there will be a sort of socially shared perception of the world, which will be a sort of a social sixth sense for humans to, to help living around in our cities and living better with each other. <laughs> depends on what you understand as fundamentally new. 
Um, I would say, yes, we can. We have opportunities for new sensory channels to apply for interaction between human and, and system and environment. For instance, uh, we can use thermal imaging, we can use brain-computer interaction, we have the opportunity to, opportunity to implant chips into our skin and use this for, for interacting with the rest of the world. Yeah, I think that's, that's indeed possible because um, we get more information from the surrounding that, um, that we can exploit and also being part of it. So when you think, for example, on my expert field of advertising, when the advertising reacts on you and shows to you something that is really interesting for you, then you start to interact with that and it makes more sense for you. I think we can and I think we already have because what we do now with the mobile domain, with mobile phones, with devices scattered around the infrastructure or the infrastructure that we already have, we already do have new senses. If I want to know what the weather is going to be like, I don't need to use the five senses I'm limited to as a human. I can access the vast databases that are out there. And I think these are or these already act as new senses to interact with the world in a way. Yes, I believe that uh, with the new internet technology and the combination of uh, mixed reality with the physical world, uh, we'll be able to develop new kinds of uh, sensing and communication through internet. So for example, right now, uh, we basically live in an information age. We can communicate log logical communication, uh, such as text or sound or video. But to really have a sense of presence and connection with uh, new uh, experiences, we should be able to s communicate with all of our senses, including the touch, taste and smell. And I think we'll be able to develop uh, completely new senses which will be able to connect us in the in through the internet with all of our multi-sensory communication. Mm -hmm.